Spheres, there's bound to be CO2 scrubbers. Why is that? If you don't remove the carbon dioxide from the air supply and it's submersible, it'll suffocate. But one thing I did like about Rapture lots of new books to read. That will need a long haul bath. Are you okay? I've seen all this happen before. I've seen everything that will happen, and now. Now. I only see darkness. You sent yourself here for a reason. A debt. That's what you want to call it. This Atlas. I'm gonna have to kill him. Either that or he'll kill me. Maybe so. I'm not you, Booker. Some war hero. I'm not even me anymore. No tears, no omniscience, or whatever you want to call it. Just a whole lot of book learning and a handful of lockpicks. Known fatalities related to its use, carbon dioxide poisoning. And they're still on the market. Well, steeply discounted, though. The humpback whale. That thing is as old as the hills. Strictly bargain basement. You gotta wear an O2 tank and a mask. We won't find a scrubber on that. First, the law gets private. There. Favorite. Submersible time of 90 minutes. That's our goal. All the way up there. The grease monkeys had to get it up there somehow. Just gotta find the controls. I 
I've got a lot of iron in my fire. I ain't got time for this. Return to the fire. That's it! We're done here. Conflict. You never listen! Never learn! Like you get away. Can't uh. you got no thoughts, Zero? Uh. Come back. Let's see this through. Together. We're not finished. Uh. I know you better than you know yourself. Not the strongest thing. Those most people are capable. Won't jump for their homes. Is it that hard? Paper. Spine on me again. Come! Let's test your metal! Screw me over. Sneaking into the repair bay at night, riding around on the hydraulic lifts. It's some kind of make-out spot. Can't exactly blame them. God knows how boring it must be to grow up in Rapture. But their hormones are costing us money, and this isn't an amusement park. I've locked the control room. The code is 7951. are being fabricated above the waves. But we will lower them on a lunette ring submerged into the structure's steel frames. So much steel, you wonder. 
How will we keep so large a purchase from the government? Water is buoyant. We shall not frame rapture in steel, but in aluminium. The government jackals may suspect me of building an air force, but never a city. Ah! I ain't letting a good lead like you get away! Atmos, the heat is on. Ryan knows something's up and is sending men to investigate the department store. Suggest you lay in supplies at the Manta Ray Lounge and prepare for a siege. Hmm. Looks like there's something in the Manta Ray Lounge worth investigating. <laughs> Come here, Han. Got a sweet idea for you. Come on, man. Let's work something out. You're not getting out of this deal that easy. A good lead like you get away. Come here, Han. Got a sweet idea for you. This is going to be noisy. All told, an unprofitable use of time. Hey, you don't belong hey, you here. You in the bedroom? Bet the fella did this ain't far. Got it. Uh, 
the last of it. Now you think you can manage the repair? Sure. I've been fixing quantum field generators since kindergarten. This is what happens when you swim with the sharks. Can I see you I want again? you to stop following me. Any progress, love? I must confess, I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam. And there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her, I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters and some very slow ones. Who in 
I find you? Like on the coded note to Fontaine. die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. <sighs> okay, that should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. Booker, 
Look. You're on the first lady. <laughs> easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Perfect. Technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced-up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. Such a more something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not in your hair, stupid! Think Hodge's cigarette lamp. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where's his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find. Should have seen that one coming. Either you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one.
you willing to pay so that others may live free from the yoke? DeWitt knew the price and paid it willingly. Not sense what the Lutest twins will one day ask of me. So far, their council has served me well. Served the revolution well. If a bullet takes me, so be it. But to offer myself up as a lamb? When I come to my Garden of Gethsemane, will I play my role willingly? Or will I burn the place down to the roots? There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. People dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? He deny him his vengeance. I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. <laughs> 